Finally, Devin Archer, Hunter Biden's former business partner who worked with the Ukrainian oligarch in question, told this committee in a transcribed transcribed interview in July that he had no knowledge of any such payments allegedly described in this form. Repeating the same lies will not somehow turn them into truths. Kind of like the election that Trump lost. Say it with me. He lost it. Repeating the same lie that he won wasn't going to turn the election around. The lost in this chamber keep pushing lies and lunacy on behalf of a multi-time loser. So if we're going to talk about China, let's go ahead and talk about China and let's talk about the dealings. And let me point out the fact that right now, each of you has admitted that none of you are fact witnesses. We walked in without facts. And unfortunately, because what we say isn't necessarily evidence, we have wasted the American people's time and we are going to walk out of this chamber and we still have no facts that are leading to anything. But let me give y'all a, a little bit of tea while we're here. So I have a document that I will ask for unanimous consent to enter into the record. It's a fact sheet on President Trump's shady business dealings with the Chinese government. What, did, what are you entering in? A, a record from who? This is from the Congressional Integrity. Congressional uh, Integrity Project, the dark money pack? I, I object. I object to that too. Of course y'all gonna object, but we gonna talk about it. What? So uh, it says... Trez Trump has extensive financial ties to the Chinese government. President Trump collected millions from Chinese government-owned entities while in office. I have the best tenants in the world, President Trump, was well aware of the multi-million dollar lease to Chinese interests. President Trump promised to donate foreign government, government profits while in office, but he donated less than a third of his proceeds from the Chinese government. President Trump maintained three foreign bank accounts while in office, including one in China. President Trump's business with China China raised legal and ethical concerns. President Trump, President Xi loves the people of China. He loves his country and he's doing a very good job. Let me tell you something. I don't want to talk about what y'all want to act like is some big mystery because we keep sitting here and Professor Gerhardt, just, just to be clear, as my colleagues have even tried to provide evidence, which they're not the ones to provide evidence, have you ever heard them say if since we've been sitting here for I don't know how long? Yes, I, I, um, I've been taking a tally. Oh, OK. Can you um, show us? Can you so tell us what the tally is? More than 35 times the Republican witnesses and Republican members of the committee have used the word if. Thank you so um, much for that, because honestly, if they would continue to say if or Hunter and we were playing a drinking game, I would be drunk by now because I promise you they have not talked about the subject of this, which would be the president. But let me tell you something that was so disturbing as I walked in to this chamber today. As I prepared, I said, what is the crime? Because when you're talking about impeachment, you're talking about high crimes or misdemeanors. And I, I can't seem to find the crime. And honestly, no one has testified of what crime they believe the president of the United States has committed. But when we start talking about things that look like evidence, they want to act like they blind. They don't know what this is. These are our national secrets. Looks like in the shitter to me. This looks like more evidence of our national secrets, say on a stage at Mar-a-Lago. When we're talking about somebody that's committed high crimes, it's at least indictments, let's say 32 counts related to unauthorized retention of national security secrets, seven counts related to obstructing the investigation, three false statements, one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States, falsifying business records, conspiracy to defraud the United States, two counts related to efforts to obstruct the vote certification proceedings, one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights, 23 counts related to forgery or false document statements, eight counts related to soliciting and I could go on because he's got 91 counts pending right now but I will tell you what the president has been guilty of he has unfortunately been guilty of loving his child unconditionally and that is the only evidence that they have brought forward and honestly I hope and pray that my parents love me half as much as he loves his child until they find some evidence we need to get back to the people's work which means keeping this government open so that people don't go hungry in the streets of the United States and I will yield.